About 400 Western Slope residents are left with an uncertain future after a longtime factory announces it'll be closing its doors. Officials with the chocolate maker Russell Stover announced Tuesday they'll shut down the company's Montrose plant in the spring of 2021. We sent our Adrian Thomas to Montrose to learn more about how this is impacting the community, and he joins us live near the facility with more. Adrian. That's right, Shelby. I'm coming to you live here in Montrose across the street uh, from the Russell Stover store and the plant that's closing down in spring of 2021. Now, on Tuesday, uh, Russell Stover corporate headquarters put out a press release saying they're closing this plant because they want to make expansions at their Kansas and uh, Texas facilities and also to keep up with changing trends in the industry. But for Montrose residents and city officials, this comes as a surprise. I spoke to these community members to see what what their next steps are moving forward after this sudden news. A woman whose husband works at the Montrose Russell Stover plant says he was given this letter Tuesday when he got to work. The letter was for announcing the closure of the plant. He was then told to take the rest of the day off. His wife says he has the option to transfer when the plant closes in 15 months or take a severance package. And I was very confused on what he was saying because he's never home after going to work and then explaining the plant's shutting down but we can move to Texas if we want to. Claire Braddock Rayburn says she and her husband feel confident given the 15 month notice, this will be a smooth transition for them, but they're worried more about the community as a whole. It provides so many jobs for people new moving here, for people who have been in this company for so many years, it can be a family tradition. And so taking that away, it, it just, it's almost uncomprehensible. We also visited the Montrose Economic Development Corporation to learn more about just how deep the Russell Stover roots run in the community. It spans decades. Uh, Russell Stover's was one of our recruitment companies back in the 70s in conjunction with the city of Montrose. And we, when once we have a company here, we work with them ongoing to try to make sure all their needs are met in order to retain them. Here in downtown Montrose, we also spoke to one of the city's top officials, and he says the area's economy remains strong despite this setback, and that he's determined to work with Russell Stover and other agencies to ensure the community has a smooth transition moving forward. So the next steps for us is really to work with the Workforce Center and Colorado Mesa University to see if we can get skills training and some higher education for the workers there and see if they want to change what kind of jobs uh, they're doing. William Bell says he's working closely with groups like the Colorado Workforce Center as well as Russell Stover representatives to make sure all employees are provided opportunity once the plant closes in spring of 2021. We want to keep up our business development activities, creating new jobs for them and just get them the skills they need to be able to transfer employment to a new business. And we'll, of course, keep following this major developing story and how it may impact the economy across the region. First on the Western Slope and reporting live in Montrose, I'm Adrian Thomas, KREX 5 News.